So this has come back from Matt Munro. Um, had a bit of an accident with it. Uh, fell off the roof of his truck and then a car that was following him three o'clock in the morning or something silly ran over it, squashed it. Um, by all accounts had to jack the car up to actually get the thing off. So first thing to do when we get it, oh dear. Let's have a bit of <laughs> God. So it's lost a leg, a few scratches. Um, yeah, I think classic case of road rash. This is obviously broken here. Um, let's rip the power out so we don't even know if it works or not. But that's nothing that we can't probably fix. So yeah, um, Matt I know hasn't had a chance to sort of properly test it or test it at all really. So first thing to do, let's see if it powers up. This has obviously been ripped off. The other end of the connector is there. So just to eliminate any possibility of not getting it connected right or whatever. And because I'm lazy and it's going to be quicker. First thing, I'll get a new one of these. So the first thing we're going to do is plug this in, see what happens. So we've got, hey, we've got power. So that's a good sign. It's been battered, but it powers up. So that's great news. So we switch it on, get the remote. Find a suitable call. Tiny pups, why not? Let's turn it down a little bit because I don't want it too loud. Play. Okay, no sound. Right, so the sound issue could be the speaker's gone. Could be a dodgy wire inside. So the first thing to check is we'll put an external speaker on it. So this is just a, a just a speaker that I've wired up for when I want to test callers. So we'll plug this into the external speaker port like that. And we'll try again. It's functioning and there's clearly a problem with the speaker. So the next thing to do is get a screwdriver, open it up, see if we can find out why the speaker's not working. And we'll unscrew some of these. Take this side off. Try not to lose all the screws everywhere. And there you go. Somewhere in the process, that wire has been pinched and broken. So first things first, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna test that by stripping those wires and um, joining them together and see if we get any progress. You can also see it's actually been pulled out of the connector. So let's do that and we'll try it again. I've stripped the wires, I've twisted them together, reconnected power, it's all switched on. Um, let's see if this speaker is working. Yes, it is, which is brilliant. So with the exception of the battery, um, batteries being ripped out and spread across Scotland and the connector breaking and the one of the speaker wires getting crimped and broken, everything seems to be working. The rest of it is just cosmetic. So really now it's just a case of pulling it all apart, putting it in a new case, putting it back together. 10 minutes should be done. Right, so here it is. I've come in from the shed, I'm back in the house. It was getting cold and damp out there, but Matt 
it's looking a little bit prettier it's back on four legs which is always a good thing um, we switch him on and the little LED comes on let's just give it a quick try and as you can hear good old distressed pheasant sound so yeah Matt you try to destroy it but we mended it it's on the back in the post today mate cheers